This is Alex from HomeTrainGym.com and in this video I'm going to give you five different progressions that you can do to get your first handstand push up. Real quick before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, there's a little icon, a picture of me in the bottom corner that you can subscribe to. That way you don't miss out on any videos that I release, uh, ones that are like this, like progressions, and also workouts and other exercises and things like that. All right. Okay, so let's get into the handstand push-up progression. So first one is gonna be a pike push-up. This one's gonna be without a box. So it's just gonna be on the ground. Basically what you do is you're gonna get your feet out a little wide and then you're gonna place your hands out on the floor. You're gonna get into as much of a, you wanna keep your legs as straight as possible and your back as flat as possible. So it's gonna be kind of like a pyramid. All right, so you wanna get into that as much as possible. So you can walk it out here and then you're gonna push your head through. And then from there, you're just gonna go down and push up, all right? Down and push up. The key to this part is keeping your elbows going back. So whenever I go down, the elbows go back and then I'm pushing straight up from there, all right? So that's gonna be the first progression that you can do uh, to get your handstand push up. All right, next one is gonna be with the box. It's gonna be similar to the one that you just did, uh, which was on the ground, except for now we're gonna be able to get our feet up a little bit higher and a little bit better position. I wanna get my head and my hips in line as much as possible whenever I do this. And then I'll be on my toes whenever I put my feet on the box. So from here, toes up, and then I wanna walk back until I'm almost vertical up and down. From there, same concept, going down, touch, pushing straight back up. All right. So it's the same basic thing that you did on the ground. This time we have our feet a little bit more elevated to make it a little bit more challenging. Okay, so this next one is maybe a step back, maybe not, depends on how well you do at it, but it's gonna be kind of a yoga pose. So if you do, if you do yoga, if you've done yoga, this is gonna be one of the poses. I think this is a great one to progress into a handstand push-up, especially if you're gonna start going into freestand handstand push-ups, just because you gotta learn how to balance and stay stabilized and things like that. So basically, you're gonna put your hands on the ground, you're gonna put your knees on your elbows, and then you're gonna just balance right from there, right? So what that looks like is I'm just gonna be here, hands about shoulder width apart or so, and then I'm gonna put my knees and my elbows, lean forward and balance, all right? If you can get that, a little bit more of a challenge is keeping your arms straight, placing your knees on your triceps, and then balancing from there. So if I have my arms straight, I'm gonna then lean forward and balance. All right, so that'll be another one, a progression from that to get into. That will just help with kind of stabilizing and learning how to balance while you get into the handstand. So if you do handstand walks or freestand handstand push-ups, you're gonna learn, you're gonna have to learn how to balance on your hands and wrists and be able to find a good center of gravity at that point. So this would be the next progression that I would say to go for once you get those two pike push-ups after that. All right, next one is gonna be on the wall. So you're gonna need to have some type of wall uh, in order to do this, or a pole, or I don't know, whatever you can find, but you're basically going to walk up the wall, and then you're going to hold yourself there. So, if you don't have a handstand walk, or if you don't know how to get into a handstand, let's say that, then walking up the wall, so a wall walk would be your best bet after that. So, if you were, do have a handstand um, kick up, you can kick up to the wall. You want to try and get as close as you can. So, your hands want to be as close as possible to the wall, all right? So whenever I go up, I'll kick, and then I'll get as close as I can, and I'll just stay here. If you don't have that, you can walk up the wall. So you'll just place your hands on the ground, you'll place your feet on the wall, and then you'll start to walk. And you want to try and get all the way until you get vertical. All right, so I'm going to walk all the way up. And then from there, I'm going to keep my feet, I'm going to keep my feet against the wall, keep my core tight, and then just hold that. So keeping your feet against the wall, keeping that core tight will kind of help with keeping that stability in your shoulders and then also just learning how to keep yourself up from the wall. So we want to make sure they're pushing away from the wall whenever you do it and then just staying against it, all right? So that'll be the next progression that you can take. One quick thing, if you do have that wall, all right, you go up, you walk, and it's totally fine. You can hold yourself up. Then try to kick your feet off the wall. So if you're facing the wall, all right, if your face is facing this wall, 
then kick your feet off a little bit, just a little bit, and try to stabilize, and then go back to the wall. Kick up a little bit, and then go back to the wall. That will help to really get an understanding of balance and control uh, from there. All right, last progression to getting your handstand push-up is going to be doing it on the wall. So if you can kick up to the wall, then that's great. If you have to walk up, totally fine. Either way, you're just going to go up against the wall, and then you're going to do the actual handstand push-up with this assistance. All right, so real quick, whenever you do the handstand push-up, just remember that we want your elbows to go kind of more in rather than out. All right, so I don't want to be like this. I want to be more in this way because whenever you get into a handstand and you're going to need to stabilize, your hands are going to be facing more forward. All right, so that's the one way to do it. So whenever you do it, you're just going to kick up. If you can, you'll kick up. All right, stay real tight. And then you'll go down, touch, come right back up. And then you'll come down gracefully. If you need to walk up the wall, same basic concept. You'll come up, get as close as you can. And then from there, go down, touch, push right back up. One thing is, if you're facing the wall, so if you're looking at the wall, that's gonna be a little bit more tough just because your feet have a tendency to come off the wall at that point. So I would say if you can kick up, start with that. That way you're facing the opposite and that's a little bit easier. And then face the wall if you want to progress into a harder one. Because uh, then you can kind of push off the wall a little bit as you go down to a handstand push up from there. So that'll help. This would be a good assistance at that point. Alright, so those are the five progressions that you can take. Could be six or seven, something like that. Either way, those are different progressions that you can do in order to get your first handstand push up. Once you get past the wall and it starts to become easier that way, then try doing a freestand handstand push up. And I'll be sure to try and do a video on that. I'm still kind of learning a little bit on that. But I'll be trying to get that down so I can do a video on that as well.